In this video, my friends, we'll be putting that MagSafe charger through its paces. We'll be testing its power delivery when there's no case on the phone. We'll also be then putting the official MagSafe Apple case on the phone and then testing it. And also just a cheap $8 case to see whether there's that much difference. And we'll look at just a third party charging pad, which we already had previously. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So we'll be testing this against the official Apple case, which cost £49 or $49, and also a very cheap plastic case from Amazon, which just cost $5.95 in the UK, around $7. For this test, we're going to be using Ampere's Light app, and we'll do three tests for each way we're charging. This way, we'll be able to get an average. I'm not going to bore you in this video with all running through every single one of these tests. We'll go straight through to the summary of each result. So hopefully you can be in a better position to whether it's worth buying that expensive Apple case and that MagSafe charger or just sticking with what you've got. So you've probably heard by now that the phones have lost the wall plug this year. However, the MagSafe, even if you do buy that at £39, $39, you're not going to get one in there either. So you're still going to need a separate one. I'm going to be using this one, which is my Samsung fast charging, delivering up to 25 watts. Okay, so let's start now with that first test, which is the iPhone 12 Pro on the MagSafe charger with no case at all. Our first test, well, it did it in 80 seconds and gave an average power delivery of 11.61 watts. The second test was a 119 second result and a power delivery averaging 7.8 watts. And finally, we had 100 seconds at a power delivery of 9.2 watts. And that gave an overall average of 99 seconds per 1% charge at a power delivery of 9.5 watts. So I would imagine all of the other tests are gonna be slightly lower than that. Let's find out if it is. Okay, so the second test is going to be with the Apple official MagSafe clear case. That has the magnet in it as well. So the first test came out at 99 seconds with a power delivery of 9.38 watts. The second test took a little bit less, 80 seconds, and a power delivery of 11.61 watts. And the third test was slightly less again at 11.61 watts at 79 seconds. And that gave us an average of 86 seconds per 1% charge at average of 10.91 watts. And if you remember the previous one, that makes that slightly better. What about if we were to use just a random cheap case? Well, let's try that now. So it is actually worth noting that this case is just £5.95 in the UK. It's around about 7 or $8 in the US. And obviously this doesn't have the magnet built in, but we did still find that it gave a degree of magnetism. Certainly not enough to hold the actual phone, but it did grip on without you having to hold the wire. And as you can see, it charged it. So let's see what the results were with this now. So again, we ran three individual tests. The first test came out at a quite slow 119 seconds per 1% charge, and that equates to a power delivery of 7.8 watts. The second test was a little bit quicker at 99 seconds per 1% charge at 9.38 watts, and the final test was 120 seconds. So for every 1% charge, it took two minutes, and that was a power delivery of 7.7 .7 watts, giving an average of 113 seconds per 1% at 8.3 watts. So let's just quickly summarize those now. Okay, so what was surprising here I found was the results. Not so much what came first or second, but how close they all were. The third place was obviously the clear case with no magnet inside. That delivered though still a quite impressive 113 seconds per 1% of charge. That gives a power delivery average of 8.3 watts. The second place, which was really surprising, was the one without the case. I thought it would be better because it's direct contact, and that was 99.6 seconds per 1% of charge, and that's an average of 9.5 watts. And finally, the winner was the Apple MagSafe case, which I don't like the look of, but it delivered 1% of charge per 86 seconds, and that was an average of 10.91 watts. Now, it's important to say that all of these tests were done at the phone having very similar charging, so within 5% of the charge. So there shouldn't be anything about whether it was at the beginning of the charge cycle or at the end. It was all done within 5% of each other. 
Okay, so what if you've got a charging pad already? Is it worth upgrading to that MagSafe charger? Well, here are some interesting results that we got from our Air Unleashed. It has a maximum advertised wireless output of 7.5 watts, so we're not going to get any more than that. But surprisingly, in third place was the iPhone Pro with that Apple Clear MagSafe case at 240 seconds per one percentage point charge at a delivery of 3.87 watts. In second place was the Apple iPhone Pro with my standard very cheap clear case which came in at 219 seconds per one percent charge and that was a power delivery of 4.24 watts and finally in first place was the 140 seconds charging it without any cases on 140 seconds per one percent charge at 6.63 watts. Okay, so if we bring up the original results from the MagSafe charging test, you'll see that the fastest one out of everything was the MagSafe charger with the MagSafe case. So that came in at 86 seconds. However, you are spending $88 to get that combination. And I guess what you need to think about is whether spending that extra money is worth that saving in time. You know, we're looking at roughly 54 seconds of saving for $88 or pounds. So for me, I have to say that I am a bit disappointed. I love the idea of the technology. However, spending £88, $88, and not even getting the charging brick that comes with it, so that's even more money on top if you wanted to get it from Apple, just to get something which was marginally faster at charging. So overall, I think it's a bit of an own goal. I'd be interested to know if I'm reading this wrong, guys. Have you got another opinion? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope that it has been useful and hopefully may even save you some money. Look forward to seeing you on the next.